my name is Elisa, and this is my first ASMR video. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do know that I've received a lot of help in various ways from the ASMR community and by consuming this type of content. So I kind of just wanted to give back in a way. I don't know if anyone will actually see this video, but here we are. So much of the day I spend caught up in my own thoughts. So something that I've been trying to do for a couple years now is to pay more attention to what's happening outside of myself. And that includes sounds and what kind of sounds things make. So that's kind of where this video comes from. Just noticing what my different journals sound like when I smooth my hands over them or when I tap on them. Switching gears here, this is my daily planner. It's from a company called Bando, and it says, progress, not perfection. I really like this because I am a perfectionist. I personally need to be reminded that perfection is not the goal, progress is. So I'm a fan of this design, obviously. It's kind of funny though, this sits on my desk and my desk gets quite a bit of sun. So when I removed the sticker, it definitely showed that the whole cover had faded. Something I really like about this planner that for every month it features a different artist and their work so it's nice to be able to get a variety of style throughout the year. I'll probably always keep a planner. I'm not the type of person who can hold events and to-do lists in their head and also I just don't really like writing things in my phone because I feel like they get lost and there's kind of just something about physically writing something that is very satisfying to me. This planner definitely has 70s vibes with these little flowers on it. I keep stickers on the back of my planner, and this is what I have currently. Merida in a snowflake, and then I have this brain injury awareness sticker made by a friend. And here's where I decided it would probably be better if I used a pen to trace and not my finger. I'm a huge tea drinker, and this is one of the companies that I really like getting tea from. The other two Disney stickers are Esmeralda and Kira, kind of modern takes on them. This last sticker is from a brewery in Delaware, 
called Dogfish Head, and I just really liked the sticker. All the Disney stickers are by a creator called Amadea Draws. Let me know and I can drop her information in the comments. Here's another journal, and it says, I just really like sloths, okay? It's the journal that I use to keep track of stuff with my cat. He has some allergies, and it's just really useful to keep track of when I give him certain medications and like what his reactions are to different things. One sloth, two sloth, three sloth, four sloth, five sloth, six sloth, seven sloth. <laughs> this journal has a soft cover, so it makes kind of different tapping sounds. This is a photo of my cat, Simon, that I use as a bookmark for the journal. Simon, like most cats, likes to be in the middle of everything, so here he is, lying on a puzzle that I was trying to work on. I actually don't know where this first sticker came from, but it looks like it has, it's a cat with an avocado as its third eye. And I have some stickers from Glossier and Milk Makeup. The sticker here is from Japan, I think, but I don't know what the symbols on it mean. Then, Stranger Things one, Eleven eating an ego. This one is from a store in San Francisco called San Francisco.
This journal I have not used yet, and I've had it for a really long time, but I just haven't figured out what I want to use it for. Also, it's just kind of so gorgeous. I feel like whatever goes in there has to be equally gorgeous. It was from Mod Cloth, and I feel like they were doing some sort of promotion where you spent, if you spent a certain amount of money, they would give you something for free. This was the free thing. The journal is made from plastic, but it has a cushion to it, so it's probably stuffed with something. thought I would also give you all some sticky sounds. It's also really cool looking at how the holograph distorts when you press on it. That's all for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I hope it helped you relax.